I have five employees here at Awesome Cafe. And on any given day, I need three of them to work in the cafe. To manage all their shifts, I have created a staff roster workbook in Excel so that I can set them up on each week. To make the matters interesting, our employees can go on vacation. So here is a list of all the names and the dates on which the employees are not available. And here is my roster. I can use this to plan for the next four weeks, see who is working on each day and change the allocations. You can think of this like a staff shift spreadsheet. Wow, that is a tongue twister. And it has some powerful features too. For example, if I select someone's name twice on a day, I'll get a warning indicating that I have duplicated their name. Likewise, if I select someone who is away on that day, for example, now Biden is away on 29th of Jan, I'll also get a warning indicator telling me about that. There is also a workload graph here so I can see which of our staff are working too much and which of our staff are working too little. While this workbook does look good, it has many limitations. And that is where the sponsor of the day comes into picture, Connect Team. It is an all-in-one employee management application that you can use to handle your employee shift information and dynamically assign people or duplicate data. I'll talk more about them towards the end of the video. For now, let's take a look at the staff roster. The staff roster file has two main components an employee list and their vacation information. On the display side, it also has a grid of four weeks. Each week is in turn divided into seven days. Let's zoom into one of these days. For example, here on 29th of Jan, I have three employees available for the shifts. I can use this drop down to select a different employee. I'm using a combination of Excel features to achieve all of this. Let's go into them one at a time. First up, we'll need to set up our four week calendar grid. To drive all of this, I have got an input cell that tells me what the starting date should be. Here I have put that to 1 Feb 24. And I have also put a customizable week start so that if we want to see the roster from, for example, Sunday to Saturday, I can change that. One means Monday here. Based on these two dates, I am calculating earliest starting week. This is a simple formula of starting date minus weekday of whatever week start I'm using plus one. This is going to give me the date of 29 Jan, which is the earliest Monday if I want to start on 1 Feb 24. So from there, I calculate all the dates. So this one is equal to earliest start. And this is just plus one like that. It just adds plus one to the previous date. And for the next week, we just add plus seven. Next, we want to select one of these employees. For this, I have got my employees table here with one row per employee. I then select the cells and applied from data ribbon, data validation, list validation that points to my employee names. The names go into the employee worksheet B5 to B9. And I can use this to now select a different employee. Based on the employee selected, I'm showing their profile picture here. For this, I'm using XLOOKUP function. In order for all of this to work, we must first put their pictures into each of the cells in the table. This is really simple with Excel 365. So for example, when you go to insert picture, you can have the picture in cell or over the cell. So I use the in cell option and pointed the picture from my computer. So I've got all these five pictures into the cells. Next, we go to the roster and wherever employee is picked in the adjacent cell, I'll say equal to XLOOKUP employee name in the employee table, employee column and get the corresponding image from the image column. This is going to get me the image of that person. For example, large bush here has got that bearded man's image. You can see that here clearly. That's the image. In order to make this roster useful, I want to avoid duplicate assignments on any given day. For example, on 31st Jan, we already have large bush here. Let's see what happens if I pick him again. I'll get this nice little warning icon right next to their name, indicating that the person has been duplicated. To do this, I'm using conditional formatting. 
Here I'm using a simple formula to count how many times the employee has appeared so far and if it is more than one, I'm returning the value of one. I'm also using the same formula to check for their vacation. I'll explain that in a minute. And if the cell returns one, then I'm using conditional formatting a icon rule and then printing that icon exclamation icon whenever the value is one. I'm using the same rule to print the X mark if the employee is away on vacation. For this to work out, we also need a table of vacations. Here is the table. It has all the names and the dates on which the employee is away. I can add more information here quite easily. So for example, we can see from this table here that now Biden is away on 29th of Jan 2024. Let's see what happens if I assign him on that day. Here I'm selecting that and let's put now Biden. I'll get the X mark here. This is happening because of the formula that I'm using here. Here I'm saying count ifs of the vacation employee column from the selected employees and if the date is the corresponding date here which is 29th of Jan. If the employee is on vacation this particular count ifs formula is going to return a value more than zero and if that is the case I am returning the cell value as two and I am using that value in conjunction with my conditional formatting so that whenever that value is greater than one I am returning that X mark icon. So that's how that icon is appearing here. So using this weekly planner, I'm now able to select and map people for all the days across four weeks. I also want to understand how much work each of them are doing. So I created this nice little graph that tells me what is the workload for employees. In order to calculate the number of assignments for each person, I'm using few more Excel formulas that are all hidden here. First up, what I did is I fetched the entire values on the roster screen here using a VStack formula. What VStack does is it basically stacks the data vertically. As you can see in the roster, for the sake of alignment and making it look good, I have added many blank rows and I don't want all of that. I just want to have just these values. So here, I'm saying V stack D13 to AD15, D20 to AD22 like that. When you see this, D13 to AD15 is just this much. And then these three rows again, these three rows again. Like that, I am taking all of that and returning them here. And then out of this entire grid of values, I'm just counting how many times each person's name has appeared. So here the name is Barack Obama and I'm just saying how many times that name has appeared in the spill range that begins from I-5. Once these workload values are calculated, I have just selected this entire column, inserted a bar chart and put the labels on it and moved it here. So we can see that for example, Barack Obama is assigned to 23 shifts in the next four week period large bush working on every day whereas Donald Roundup and now Biden are working only four shifts each. This is all dynamic so if I change for example let's reduce some of the large bushes workload by swapping out to now Biden here, here and here. You can see that as I change those assignments my graph updates and I can see the different workload assignments now. While it is a beautiful roster there are three main problems with it. Number one, it is too rigid. What if I don't have three people per shift, maybe four on one day and two on another day. Second one, there are no alerts or notification. So my team doesn't know who is doing what unless they check this file every day. And the third one is there is lots of manual work. If I want to duplicate a shift for the next week, I must enter all the details manually again into the spreadsheet. And this is where the sponsor for today comes in, Connect Team. It is an all-in-one employee app. Using Connect Team, we can easily set up, duplicate and alert people about their shifts. You can also use Connect Team to manage your shifts and swap it with another employee if you want. Let me show you a quick demo. 
Here is my admin screen through which we can set up the shifts. Let me add a cafe operation shift for Michael for the next four weeks. As soon as I publish the shift, Connect Team automatically notifies Michael about this by email and mobile notifications. We can use the weekly view to easily duplicate the shifts or move them if there is a conflict. Once an employee is on the shift, they can also clock the hours using the built-in time clock feature of Connect Team. Not only that, but an employee can also swap the shifts with someone else in the team if they can't make it to the work. And here is the best part. All of these features are free for teams up to 10 people with Connect Team. So download Connect Team using the link in the video description below and set your business up for success. Thank you Connect Team for sponsoring this video.